Hi guys, it's Jackie from Cruising the World with Jackie. Um, so we're not cruising, we're staying inside. I'm staying and taking care of my mom. And whenever I talk with my friends, we Zoom um, or whatever, or talk, um, the first question basically is, what are you watching? Um, what should I watch? What should I be doing? So, you know, we have this conversation. So I thought that I would get together a list of what I'm watching what I'm reading, um, what I'm listening to on YouTube or watching on YouTube, and um, just go through it. Maybe it'll give you some idea of what to do this weekend. So let's start with um, what I read. So I have a book club. I don't have a book club. My friends and I have a book club. And um, it happened to be my month this time, and we did a Zoom. We usually get together at a nice restaurant and you know have a couple drinks and we actually do talk about the books um and it forces me to read books that normally are not in my wheelhouse so um sometimes i well most of the time i read mysteries or thrillers that have a twist that's what i like but with this book club you know everybody gets to pick the book and i have really liked some of the ones that have been outside of that genre so I picked something a little unusual this time, and I put, picked The Girl with a Louding, louding Voice, um, and it was great. It's a Jenna um, book club, Jenna Hager from the Today uh, Show, and um, it was really good. So, you know, if you're looking for something, that's, that's probably a good read. Um, it's about a girl in Nigeria and her life, and... Um, I couldn't help but when I was reading it, thinking about when we travel to some of the countries in the Caribbean, like the Dominican Republic, and you see people that have it so much worse than us, kind of reminded me of that. Now, of course, Nigeria, I don't think it's the same, but it's just kind of give me a heads up. You know, we don't know how lucky we are. Um, and that's one of the reasons I liked traveling with my kids you know they could see other cultures they understand but you know even with our worst you know problems we still have it so much better than most of the world so anyway I don't want to go off on a tangent on that it's a good book um, if you're looking for something to do um, and you're tired of the TV um, go ahead and read that okay so let's get into TV now I like TV I like great shows. I also like some trashy shows, but I'll stay away from them because you probably know them anyway. But so, um, probably one of my favorites, um, I've gone through all the seasons now is Ozarks. Really love it. Um, it's on Netflix. The first couple ones will be on Netflix and then I'll tell you if they're on different, different, um, streaming channels or TV. Um, Last Kingdom. Last Kingdom is a series um, about Vikings, kind of like the Vikings, but much better. My son um, has re read the books um, and he loved them. So it's kind of a thing that we watch from the beginning um, together, um, my oldest son, and it's really good. You know, it really, really is good problem with it though I'm going to warn you right now is if you watch it now it's great because you can stream all four seasons um, but they tend to release them it takes a while for them to release just like Ozarks unfortunately um, but um, The Last Kingdom I just had my friend um, turned her on to it and, and they were up the whole family so Last Kingdom, I really recommend. Okay, the next one is Money Heist. Now, I have to warn you, Money Heist is very, it's about heist, robbery, right? It is really, really, really detailed. They pull off some of these, the, the two heists that you think never, ever can happen. They do it, but it's very detailed. So, you cannot be doing anything else when you're watching it. So I know that some, a few of my friends that I've recommended to do this didn't, couldn't get into it because you can't multitask. You have to get yourself some popcorn, you have to sit down, and you have to watch it. Um, but if you can get into it, all right, it's really good. You. Y-O-U. 
it is disturbing. It's about a guy who basically stalks people. But some, it, it, it's, it's a little disturbing. It's really good in my opinion. Um, so I'm going to recommend that. Dead to me. Now, please don't give me any, um, tell me what happens, any spoilers, because I'm sitting down to watch the newest season today. But I really like the first season, so I'm really going to, uh, I can't wait to see that. The Crown. Still on Netflix. Um, you know, if you like English history, if you don't even like English history, it's interesting. It's about um, the current queen. Um, and... I found it very interesting, and I think it's season three. Um, the, the actresses change as the queen gets older. I think that's interesting because lots of times they try to make a 20-year-old look like an 80-year-old, and they didn't do it this time, so I really like that. Mindhunter. Um, it's, I guess, loosely based on at the FBI's... Um, psychological profilers, I guess. Um, I liked it. I kind of like mysteries and murders and that kind of stuff, that kind of dark stuff sometimes. Um, so I really enjoyed it. Okay, over in Showtime, they have Billions. I'm not sure what season it is on, but I really enjoy that. That just came back on, so that's good. Um, now going over to Hulu. Little Fires Everywhere. Um, the book is really good. The series was good. Probably not as quite as good as the book, but it was good. So you can watch that. Um, another one that was based on a book, um, 11 63 um, Yes, Kennedy Assassination Date. Um, it is a book by Stephen King. Um, the book is much better, I think, but it's still very interesting. It's, it's about tra time traveling. Could you go back? Would you stop it? You know, it's it's pretty interesting. Um, and I don't think it's very, it's it's not very many episodes, I don't think. Harlots. Um, okay, so if you're interested in, like, British 19th century, I think it's 19th century, if you're interested in kind of like British timepieces, um, Harlots is pretty interesting. It's also kind of a little sleazy, a little bit tacky, but um, I enjoy it. Um, Liz Tyler stars in it. Um, so it's interesting. I think that's basically it. I mean, there's always the standard older ones. Um, Breaking Bad is good. I actually watched that after. Um, it was on, so I enjoyed that a lot because I just, I just binged it um, a few years ago, all in right in a row, kind of. Um, so you didn't have to wait for what came out. Um, Better Call Saul um, is um, pretty good. That's a Breaking Bad spinoff. Um, I really like, and I can't remember the name, and I didn't write it down, um, the Jane Fonda, Frankie, and I don't remember, but it's on Netflix. It stars Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin. It's really good. Um, I'll put the information below when I remember what it is. I should have wrote it down. Okay, so now I'm going to get to YouTube. What do I watch on YouTube now? I watch a lot of stuff on YouTube. I particularly non-cruise wise watch mysteries. Um, Stephanie Harlow is excellent. I really enjoy her older mysteries, murders, you know, what happened to these people. Um, not so much the newer stuff, only because we know what happened or, you know, basically we know what happened. But the older stuff, I really, really enjoy her. Um, and her name's Stephanie Harlow. Um, really good. I also, believe it or not, are really into budgeting. Um, I know budgeting and cruising, you don't think that goes along, but I'm getting ready to retire and I wanna get completely debt free. I have been debt free in the past and I kinda of let my finances get a little out of control. So I'm trying to get back into it. So I watch a lot of um, budget stuff too. 
So I'm going to give you a list of stuff, a list of people. And um, I pick these people because I really enjoy them. I do watch them and they're really small channels. So yes, I watch all the big channels probably that you watch. And I really enjoy Tony and Don and, um, you know, I enjoy those people. But um, I also like to watch the new people. I'm a new person. I only have 100 plus subscribers. Um, I hope to grow it a little bit more, but it's not my main gig and it probably never will be, but it's fun. So here are some people that are in that same category. They have a less than a thousand uh, subscribers, so they're not, uh, you know, being monetized for it. But I think they're really good and they're fun and you should give them a chance. So some of these you probably have heard of. Okay, we are Journey with the Gingers. It's mom and daughter. Um, they're gingers. They're fun. I enjoy them. Charlene. And you'll have to pronounce. You'll have to forgive me if I'm not pronouncing these people's names right. But I'm going to put the link down below so that um, you can get it. So I think it's Sherlyn, Sherlyn Michaels, um, dash Sig Cruiser. She is a signal single cruiser, a solo cruiser. Um, she also has um, gluten free needs, I guess. So. Um, it's a really good perspective and I have to say that uh, you don't see many perspectives from uh, cruising single or solo so I really enjoy her I have cruised solo before um, so I really enjoy watching her and if you are a solo cruiser or if you have uh, dietary needs like gluten at free I think check her out she's really good okay beach please they're just a really funny family. They're kind of silly. Um, I really enjoy watching them too. Uh, Escaping Adventures with Robin and Steve. Enjoy them. Uh, Kentucky Travelers. They're listed KY Travelers. Um, they're a couple, probably in my age bracket from Kentucky. I enjoy them. Fun, Son, and Fam. Um, I enjoy them and they have a teenage son. My son just turned or will be turning 19 soon um, and we for years traveled. Um, I have three boys but he's the youngest and we probably traveled mostly in the last 10 years just with him. Um, so it, it I, I enjoy watching them. It kind of reminds me of us. So fun son and fam. Um, Fisher Fun Adventures. Um, I enjoy them. Cruising with Christine. She is based out of Jacksonville, I think, or close to Jacksonville. She is a travel agent. Um, but, you know, in this downtime, she's kind of showed us around Jacksonville. She showed us, she's gone by the port, seeing the empty ships there. Um, I enjoy her. Uh, J and N Travels. Um, I really enjoy their news. Now, lots of cruise channels, um, creators, uh, focus on news or do news uh, little bits but I really enjoy theirs and when they come out with new stuff I normally watch it right away so JNN travels okay budget so there is one particular person that I really enjoy and you're gonna find it funny because she's really she's a young person and it really is um, from a young person's perspective but if you're new to um, budgeting, she takes budget uh, ideas and really breaks them down. She's also, she's just out of college. Um, if you have a young person that in your family that won't listen to you about budgeting, turn them on to her. Um, and I'm probably gonna mess up her name, but I'm gonna put it below. Um, I think it's um, Francine. Um, but I will put it below. Like I said, I really enjoy her perspective on budgeting and how she pays stuff off. And if you need kind of a refresher on how to do that or you're not good at budgeting, or if you have a kid that won't listen to you about budgeting, turn them on to her. Um, I, I do a lot of, I watch a lot of budget stuff. I like her, I like the big channel Budget Mom. Of course, I live listen to Dave Ramsey every once in a while. But I think you'll enjoy her. 
um, and I know your your younger adults will. So I really enjoy it. That's what I'm doing now. Of course, I listen to the big stuff, um, like I said, but I do like to to uh, have subscribed to these people, and I put the notifications on, and I do watch them. I give them some encouragement. I try to comment on them. Um, so try them out. See if you like them. Watch some of those TV shows. If there's a TV show that you really enjoyed, um, comment below and maybe I'll check them out too. I have to say, I did get sucked into Tiger King. Um, it, it's tacky and it's a train wreck. And yes, I did watch it. Um, so um, I do watch some silly stuff too. Um, but on the weekends, I like to binge stuff when I'm off of work. So. I hope all is well. Um, I It's a beautiful day here, so I'm hoping to get out and take a walk uh, with a mask on and then come back and bitch some stuff probably and do some housekeeping and all that yucky stuff that we have to do on the weekends when we work. So enjoy your weekend. Let me know what you're binging so maybe I can find something new. Thank you. Enjoy. Bye.